Welcome to the demonstration of a patient whose abnormal movements can be determined to fulfill the two key criteria for the diagnosis of definite functional movement disorder. As you see in this video, the patient is asked to do a specific tapping movements, meaning at a rate that I'm giving her in this particular video. And we are interested in documenting that the performance of the task, when properly done, changes the phenotype, disrupts the behavior in a manner that would not be explained through a neuroanatomical pathway. That is incongruent. And that feature is very important to determine that the head tremor isn't dystonic in nature. And you see quite a bit of variability, which fulfills another feature, and that is inconsistency. Here, she's uh, shown uh, walking, and you can see that there is marked variability of the head movements. At some point, she briefly stops to see what's around. That is inconsistent. And as she prepares to walk in a tandem fashion, you can see that there is excessive swaying uh, suggestive of a normal balance, but uh, an abnormal excessive swaying, which is also incongruent as it is the marked uh, ex uh, response on the, on the pull test, that excessive or exaggerated response is also a very important feature in these patients. Hence, this video nicely demonstrates uh, the features that in a patient with a tremor disorder uh, fulfills criteria for inconsistency and incongruence. Once this diagnosis is established, no further diagnostic workup are needed because if an abnormality is found, it could not explain these features since they are not uh, neuroanatomically uh, uh, correct and therefore they truly fulfill criteria for a functional uh, mobile disorder rather than any other neurological disorder.